So the first thing I do is I start with a, a B175 compare rate size 10. It's just a, a blast finished hook. And I've got a 8 or is it an 8 or 7 or it's a UTC thread. Something that's thin. To be fair, UTC will work as well. So I've just got to come in behind the eye and work my way down, down the hook shank. I never go right to the end with cormorants because that's where my wing is. I tend to have my wing the same length as my hook shank. So you can see just where the point of the barb, the point of the, the hook, sorry, goes into the main wire. You can see the thickness change. That's what I want to be. In here, I'm tying in two things. This is a size 14 pearl miler. And this is going to be my rib. Catch that in. Nice and secure. And then this stuff, it's a tiny little micro chenille. Semperfly, black. And just can't really link that. Now I want this to be the same thickness of my body, so I tie up where my eye would be, where my wing's going to be. So you've got two ways of doing this. Um, you can do the rib over the chenille. However, it's better underneath because it's more durable. You've got the chenille over the top. So you just tidy up these wraps with your thread. And then come in. I'll secure this here. A little bit finish. And then, a little bit hard as nails, Sally Hansen. Stick a little bit on the body there. So, we've got to wind up. I could use a thicker mile over this, actually. It would be a lot quicker. But you can see that awesome colour. Oops. I'll sort that lice in a sec. I'll secure this first. Just secure that. What I will do is tighten this up a little touch. Like so. That's better. And with the scissors, snip away the excess. So, another, I like, I like to put a I whip finishing. I just I just know that everything's safe and solid. So one turn at the back and then up and open turns. So one turn at the back, open turns. Three, four, and secure on the fifth. Now what you'll see with this is if I actually if I twist it, it doesn't look much. But when you turn it in the light, you can see it's no overkill. It's um, that's perfect in the light. In with my scissors, trim away that, and then all I do is, with any cormorants, is just tidy the head area. Make sure you've got a taper for your marabou. This is really important when you're doing cormorants. A lot of people will, will cut the stub ends to lay flush on that head. You didn't need to do that. Just take a a small pinch of your marabou, spin them together as if you were doing a tail for a lure, and then with your thumb and forefinger, just flatten everything off. Quite tight, you'd be surprised how tight you can do it. And this is the key bit. Your thread needs to be well back. Not at the front, well back. Because we're going to taper down. So a nice thin tying in point here. Pinch and loop. Excuse me, pinch and loop, secure. Like so. And you can see I've got, a, once I cut that stub end away, I can tidy all this up now. In my scissors. Hit an angle. 
and then all we do is tidy this area up with thread drops. Tidy, tidy, tidy. You can just finish your fly there. Um, I could do more build ups and then just make everything really nice, neat, and tidy. However, I'm going to put a little bit of black glister on there. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to trim my cormorant by pinching the, the marabou between my thumb and forefinger. That's where I like my, the length of my cormorants to be, just over the end of the hook. That's it. So, my little addition on this is a little bit of. I should have had this ready actually. Bear with me. I've got a little bit of black hens here, and it is jet black. Now, this is actually solderini, and it's a 51, and it just goes with the fly. It's got the same sort of characteristics as that chenille. So, what I'm going to do is a tiny, tiny little rope. Very similar with the, the amount that you would use when you're doing a Midas dry fly. And what it does is it tidies up that area, but it also creates a, a like a thorax area. Does that make sense? And then just come in, quick finish. Tidy that area up there. Like so. And with your scissors. I like to come in and just brush some of this out into the wing. That's it looking good. Perfect. Now, tiny little spot of varnish right on the, the head there. And that's him done. Now that is my black death. So I call it black death. Everybody just sees it, either sees a cormorant, but they kind of see the actual little subtleties in there, and that's what makes it work. You can see that it's just it's just like perfect, perfect profile, but you've also got that. Um, you've also got the fact that that hidden pearl under body, so that's him, the black death cormorant. I really hope you enjoyed that, folks. If you did. Please subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Take care and bye bye.